Hi friends, Jimbo with Mephisto Genetics. Welcome to part three of our low stress training series. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how I use plant ties and stakes to help shape and support the plants in my growery. Let's get started with this great crinkle seedling at day nine. She's destined to grow into a much larger plant, but right now her first leaves are a bit too heavy for the main stem. Let's go ahead and add some support with a twisty tie and this plant marker. There we go, Grape Crinkle. We will see you again soon. In mid to late flower, I'm a big fan of using soft ties to help hold up heavier branches. This man bear alien pig at day 50 will need support on many of her branches before the colas begin to buckle under their own weight and topple over. What I do is wrap my first tie around the main stem to act as a hard point. Then I'll twist on a second tie to the free end of the first. Finally, I'll loop that second tie under and around the branch needing support. This should do the trick. This man bear alien pig will need several more tie downs before she's ready to go for final portraits. Here we've got a Skywalker all the way at day 75. She's going in for her final portraits today. Before we begin, let's make sure some of the branches in the lower canopy have the support they need. For these, I'm going to use twist ties to affix the drooping branch to one of the sturdier ones above. When it comes to tying plants down for support, twist ties, soft ties, and garden twine all are great options. Having these around can help you at any stage in the autoflower life cycle. This Skywalker has a slight lean. Perhaps she could have benefited from a plant stake or two to help keep her upright. For supporting large plants, options like stakes and poles or even cages can help prevent leaning such as this. Let's take a look at a couple of our plants that we have staked this round. Some of our staked up season two selections include Man Bear Alien Pig, Jammy Dodgers Number no. Two, and Grape Crinkle, all supported with bamboo stakes as they finish out flower. If you're interested in learning more about low stress training or how to grow autoflowers in general, go check out our blog over at mephistogenetics.com.